Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these taco street uh, street tacos. This one is the chicken street taco. Um, it is seasoned chicken, pinto beans, rice, and corn, and they're on a um, tortilla shell of some kind. Now it says they're new, so it's pretty cool. Ready in minutes are two soft tacos. Um, it is 5.4 ounces or 153 grams. These are located in the deli at Walmart. They were $1.97 for the two. So you buy the you get this where you get the where you buy the deli meats and stuff like that. Um, if you eat both of the the container basically is 210 calories. Sorry, 310 calories. These packages are really hard to see on. And here's the other information if you want it. So directions. Let's see nothing there. So heating directions: heat in microwave full power for 60 seconds. And of course, they may, you may need to adjust your time. After heating, let's stand for one minute, heat an additional temperature, heat to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. So it doesn't say to vent them or anything like that. So I'm just gonna stick the package just like it is in the microwave for 60 seconds, and then I'll be back. Okay, here they are out of the microwave. I took them out of the plastic, but they're still in the little trays. Um, so here's what they look like inside. Plenty of cheese, tons of cheese, and it looks like quite a bit of chicken too. Here's, I don't know if I can get this one open, it's stuck a little bit. Anyway, very steamy. Um, I would move these around a bit because you can see the moisture. There's some moisture in them. I mean, I know it's waxy too, but there's also some moisture in the bottom. So you may want to take them off um, this and put it on just the paper plate in general. Uh, that way you're not getting all that moisture uh, stuck to the bottom of them. I generally do that because they get really uh, soggy if you don't do that. So anyway, and I'll move them around while they're cooling off just to keep them from sticking to the plate. So I'll be back when they cool off. All right, they had time to cool off. I'll take a bite right there. There's actually, I don't know if you can see it, but you can't. There's a pepper right there too, so I'm gonna try a bite right there. I like the textures. The textures are really good. It has, um, I like the piece of the corn in there, which surprising, I like that. Um, it has some spice to it though, so if you don't like spicy food, probably don't like these because they're um you get a little tingle in the back of your throat i love the flavor of the chicken and the cheese and it, it's like it almost has a like a queso sauce on top of the chicken uh, that's what with the cheese and the peppers and stuff like that it almost is like a queso sauce on there i really do like these the um the, I like it that the tortillas are good and soft too because sometimes they get hard on the top part especially where they're kind of just by themselves with no filling. They sometimes get really really hard. Um, these aren't. They're really really good and soft. Um, the filling's good and hot. Good and fresh tasting. Um, a really good flavor. And um, I like the pinto beans in there too. It just adds a little bit of a filler to it. Um, it's not quite a five. It's not quite a five out of five. It's not quite there. Um, I'm gonna give it a four out of five though. Definitely 100% worth a try if you like uh, if you like a taco, um, especially a chicken taco that has a little bit of spice to it. And if you like queso kind of dip flavor, you'll like these too. I think it has a good good uh, queso type flavor. So yeah, I'll give it a four out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.